Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. Back in the Naval Academy, looking at one of the new scenarios, Rise of the Heavy Cruiser. Test the strengths and weaknesses of 1930s cruisers versus armored cruisers of older technology. Heavy cruisers of the new era focus on speed, maneuverability, and superb fire control systems. Guns and armor were historically limited due to naval treaties, but now you can design your cruisers without such limitations. Your mission is to destroy the three reconstructed armored cruisers that oppose you. The enemy ships should be not underestimated as their thicker armor and heavy guns can cripple your ships at short distances. So we get guns and fire control, 15 techs and guns, control station, turret mechanisms and rangefinders. That looks like a pretty solid for me. We can survivability and maneuverability where we're looking at five for cruiser design, 10 for armor quality, hull strengthening, internals protection, and then three in the engine technologies. Not bad either actually and then we have torpedo power medium guns and speed so 15 in small guns 10 in engines and boilers wow that's a lot of speed 10 in special machinery and then 10 in the various torpedoes I think I'm still gonna go with guns and fire control So we have Heavy Cruiser 1. Looks like they have a couple of built-in medium gun barbettes. A couple of slots for additional guns. We need at least turbines because of how much weight that's going to save. Then oil, we'll probably do with semi-oil, but we'll go with oil. We'll go for the, the expensive options to start. Forced seems like a no-brainer to me. We need the turning rate and such. We'll see. For the water pumping and ship repairs, it's, it's nice. Same for shaft three. It's starting to look like we're going to use the same strategy we used for the previous mission. Oh, crop four. Nice. Barbet, I'm not going to worry about. Anti-torp. Like, that's really heavy. We'll do the barbets as well. Triple. Reinforced bulkheads. Anti-flood. Citadel five. Wow, that's a lot. Said don't underestimate the opposing ship's armor. We will not. We'll go for penetration. All fancy, all the way across. We'll leave the torpedoes. We will bump them up to 20 inch though. And then we will go for long range accuracy. Radio direction finder, Gen 2 radar. Oh, that's amazing. Actually, let's, let's delete that. That's going to make the towers pretty heavy. And then we'll adjust the rest as we can. So we have modern tower one and two. Long range accuracy is very important on this one. We'll slide that all the way back if we can. Secondary tower. Damage control, some torpedo spotting. 
little bit of base accuracy. But we can trim that down to a much smaller one if we need to. Well, let's start with the big one. Funnel wise. Can't fit the big funnel. But we can put an advanced funnel in a very well protected slot, I might add. That's kind of neat. Having it there like that, protected by the superstructure. We already have a barbette forward. We have the stepped deck aft. And we're not getting a, a barbette as an option, anyways. That's unfortunate. Central line gun wise, we're looking at Mark 5s all the way across the board. Is there any reason not to use an 11? Because that is a lot of penetration. We'll go with the two barrels. We'll tuck it in there. And then we'll put that one back aft a little bit and then tuck it in with the superstructure. We'll have a little difficulty shooting forward, but we may be moving those around a little bit. Secondary gun wise. 5-inch guns. Let's see, can we do side guns of a 6-inch style? We can. We can even do triples. 7-inch. A little bit big. Can we rotate them to avoid that? That appears to be a no. Ooh, we can on the side mounts. Can mount a 7 inch if we desire. 8 inch is too much. Can't fit. Four, but, or we can fit four. We can't fit three per side. We can squeeze them in. If we uh, minimize the rear tower, we might be able to squeeze two more in. But I'm not that gung-ho about it. I can't fit the triples. And because of the sevens, we can't fit the double either. It looks like it'll have to be secondary guns or nothing. And we do triples. Sure. A little bit of an awkward setup. I'm not sure if rotation is restricted for these or if it'll clip through the superstructure, so I'll have to look for that. No casemates to worry about. Could probably have stuck some deck tubes somewhere in here. And may yet. Actually, can we fit some up top? Do some fantail ones if we really want to, but I'm I'm okay not having any torpedoes for this round. We are overweight now. We did go fairly heavy on the armament. We do have super high tech armor. Good fire and flooding chances. Where's the armor quality? 120%. So, at a minimum, I would like to see 
7 inch belt. Or the extended. And then let's say. nine inch regular belt and the deck should be three inches by one conning tower at 10 We'll go turret facing at 12, or top at 3, and secondaries at 7, which that's all very heavy. <clears throat> and do we really need to worry about the 5 inch? Or is losing them, getting them knocked out kind of okay? Yeah, let's just do two inches. So now we get to figure out how to make them lighter, and I don't want to make them slower. But if we did, yeah, that's awful. Spend a little bit of money to get it a little bit lighter on the engine. Already using the best of those. We can lose the barbettes. We can reduce the anti-torpedo protection. I hate having the higher flooding chance, but it is what it is. And that really does take up a lot of space. We don't have the reduced flooding chance from... or do we? Okay, yeah, it is responding. Looking over here on the right. Just a little bit leery since it says to do, and okay, making sure it does. There's something we can. Well, I don't want to reduce the armor strength too much, but we could probably reduce it a little bit. Wait, oh, it's all or nothing. I see. Oh, it was reducing armor weight. No, armor weight was still increased. Citadel 3, probably the lightest weight. We lose some armor quality. That's okay. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Maybe we can squeeze in some anti-torpedo one. With any luck. Let's uh, reduce the turret mechanisms. Pretty clear we're going to be staying at max range for all this. Do the semi-auto. The lower weight. Yeah, that's still a nice go of it. We'll get two of these. I'll go 30 knots, which is a lot. I'm, I'm, and we have nice components. I'm a little concerned about the protection scheme, but I'm trying to strike a certain amount of uh, balance. So let's see how th this performs. Okay, we can see them all the way over there. Turrets are traversing. We'll drop down. 
24 knots seems respectable. I'm happy with that. I don't remember, isn't there a uh, shell following? It's been so long since I've used anything like it. There's the initial salvos. We are at 15 kilometers. We want to make sure that we are attacking this target. We have three cruisers of different designs. chance to hit at this range. There we go. Penetration. Ah, they're splitting fire. I'm gonna reset their attack, but I want them to focus. And if we are, we're we're gonna focus on the close one. Hate to retarget like that. Resets it. Due to the aspect, we're looking at a reduction in the accuracy. Environmentals are negative. Wait, are we closing? Yes, we changed angle. Come on, guys. This is not what I was talking about. Happened when I was controlling the division to shift targets. Alright, let's see. That is not a battle cruiser. Might have been able to get away with triples. If we redo this, that might be the first thing I look at doing. Actually, let's go ahead and turn around based on the enemy cruiser's direction of travel. Close are we? 70% identified. Seven inches are getting involved. Or are they at this range? Looking at 10 kilometers. Kind of depends on what their armor looks like. Statistics look kind of poor for the seven inch at that range. Jeez. A lot of guns, whatever they are. Taking a lot of fire.
There's a bounce. They leave a decal for bounces. Ooh. There was an overpen, 10 inch. Or 7 inch got a penetration. So we're looking at 10 inch armed, 6 inches of armor. We're definitely overkilling it with 11 inch. Maybe not for that range. Makes the sevens actually useful. Uh, what quality? So they have effectively 12 inches. And but we've already seen that the sevens can get a penetration. Flooding back aft. Must have gotten a hit in there somewhere. Some fives and some twos, so I think the tens are the only guns we really need to worry about. On this one at least. We definitely have a lot more accuracy at range. The scenario brief was definitely accurate in that sense. Oh, now that we have this, we can... No widget? we we'll have to close this to get the widget. Why is the widget gone? We used to have a widget. Oh, we have some flooding. Took an 11 inch hit. 10 inch hit is what caused the flooding though. What do we have over here? We have 11 inch. Okay, so these two are of the same class. And they're using 11 inch. With tube powder. Alright, how close are they? We're looking at 5 kilometers for the... Destroyers, the five inch, are now engaging the destroyers. Some damage to one of the destroyers. Some additional flooding for the Columbia. We have what, three five inch? Actually, are they all engaging? I wanted to know if they could all traverse, and it looks like they can. Hard to see if that actually clips into the superstructure or not. What kind of accuracy are we looking at here? Oh, well, there's the torpedoes. Come up in speed, do a slight right hand turn. And we're rapidly losing accuracy. actual torpedoes. We have to sink all enemies, so we might as well take out the destroyers. How is the Columbia doing? Definitely struggling with flotation.
shift targets again. Are we sitting ten and a half kilometers? Are they retreating? It appears to be so. It looks like we missed a little bit of an opportunity to possibly finish off the Columbia. Reduce speed. We'll cut in and wait for the destroyers to approach again. Oh, there's another set of torpedoes. Never mind, we'll cut out. And it looks like she's pumping down the water rapidly now. We're out to 12 kilometers. Despite the radar, the accuracy is not too great. I mean, that's great for 12 kilometers, actually, but... We, I think we started with 800 rounds for the 11 inch. So 15 kilometers for the other cruisers, 13 for the Columbia, I think landed about there. an eye on those destroyers. Oh, another set of torpedoes. How quaint. See a right bearing drift. I don't think we need to worry about taking a hit from these ones. is closing in so let's keep an eye on her changing their mind. We're we looking at range wise, we're within 13. We just need to get lucky with these destroyers. Well, let's make this a hard turn. We're just going to throw off our accuracy, but they are diving in close. Okay, we took a hit, bow deck extended, not bad. Oh, there's our hit on the destroyer, that destroyer is done for now. Just a matter of time now that she has engine damage. We'll 
cut back inward. There's a second hit. More engine damage. There is their smoke. Alright, Koontz is getting a little bit close. We'll angle back out, focus on her. The Rodman has shifted targets. Ooh, couple really good hits already. Over penetrations. Probably should tell him to focus on AG. Ooh, timing could not have been better. Increase speed and. If we can get outside, yeah, we'll be good on this one. It looks like we've dis... Oh, no, we haven't disabled the coons yet. We've gotten several hits. the main gun, not that I'm too concerned by that. The Rodman have a torpedo launcher still. He sure does. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Drop down to 24 knots. Another over penetration. A five inch. Do another hard turn. I'm getting nervous about where the Rodman is. Another over penetration. Ah, just as we were starting to get hits. Ooh, ooh, okay. Good thing we did. Boost speed. come to a full stop well, she's gonna sit there for us even for a little bit Koontz is two-thirds loaded with their to oh okay They launched. Get back to flank speed. Oh, flooding. 11 inch penetration. We're looking at. Okay, they're getting within 10 kilometers. D4, please. There we go, destroyed a second funnel. Okay, normal hit from a 5 inch. Over penetrations, some flooding. There we go, some more hits. 7 inch on that one. Good damage on that. Kaiserin took an 11 inch penetration to the mid belt. Destroyed three funnels. 
Oh, there we go. She's a gunner. Yeah, and let's focus on this one. What are you looking at for torp reloads? All right, let's start angling out. She's maneuvering in a way that concerns me. Yep, there goes, we saw the puff. I heard the audible that time too. And this takes us uh, away from the enemy cruisers as well, so this is all beneficial. How many rounds do we have? 540. There we go. Jin maneuverability damage. Decent flooding. More flooding. Destroyed the torpedo launcher. Or a torpedo launcher. I think it's the only one. Might be two on there. Yeah, there are two. There's one in the fantail. Come on, finish her off. A little bit more flooding might be enough. Oh, she's losing ground on the flooding battle. I have a feeling they'll control flooding and they'll start recovering though. Yep, there it is. Starting to pump it down. And they repaired the engine damage. There we go, fire. What's she looking? Hey, more flooding. Not too many shell hits. It looks like a wreck though. I think she's trying to come sideways. Can she launch in time? Oh, there's the noise. Turn, guys are in. There we go. No, Amston, we don't want you turning. And go right into the path of the torpedo. Well, it might be better to just cross at this point. Oh no, that looks bad. We're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. More flooding. Drop the speed. For exact, please. More fire, just a little more damage. It's a good fire, but not anywhere we care about at the moment. Columbia is getting kind of close. And it looks like they're running low on ammo. The Koontz just keeps repairing. There we go. 
higher in good location. Flooding is getting below one third. There we go. Finally. Shift to auto and we'll focus on the Columbia. What range are we looking at? We are looking at 8 kilometers. Low ricochet chance, mostly side hits, some deck hits. 12 inches effective armor. Looks like we'll have a little bit of trouble penetrating the main belt. I don't know whether the colors for the little widget are for chances to hit certain locations. It certainly seemed like that as some of the ships were maneuvering in the previous scenario, but could very well be a chance of penetration. I'll have to pay closer attention now that I've thought of that. Ooh, nice deck hit. Woo! Steady hail fire. Yes. There's another one. We are closing in on six kilometers. It's dangerous, but she hasn't fired. Not sure why. Destroyed a casemate. Like it could be the low ammo. Could be the lack of accuracy at that range. Speaking of which, I think we're close enough. She's taking quite a bit of water up forward. It's hurting her accuracy further. This is definitely a good range. Quite a bit of flooding now. Destroyed one of the funnels if we hadn't already. Ooh, she's leaning drunkenly. Definitely taking quite a bit of damage. Flooding rapidly. Or steadily, I shouldn't say rapidly. It's an exaggeration of what's actually occurring. There we go, a little bit more flooding. Flooding back aft and up forward. our ships. Where are the other cruisers? They are six and a half kilometers out. Man, they're a lot closer than I expected. Oh, torpedoes. Hard turn. A torpedo? Not very threatening. Seven inch hit. On the Albany. Wait for the torpedo to pass, and then we'll we'll shift back. All right. <clears throat> I 
Damage to the main gun. Penetration, penetration. Steady hail of penetrations at this range. We are at seven kilometers. We'll try to close. Not too quickly. Man, that seven inch squeezes in there. That's a tight fit. There we go. A couple more penetrations. Oh yeah, widget wise. Looking at 11 inches, effective armor, six and a half kilometers. Yeah, we're well in excess of penetration of that. So I, th I think that's definitely a hit location for the green red. Albany's taking a little bit of flooding up forward. A ricochet up there. Let's see, Ooh, there, there's a couple new holes. We watched those ones up here. There's another one. We're sitting at almost five kilometers. There's one hit. Think she's maneuvering? Yes, turning away. Damage to a main gun. Not quite sure why they stopped firing. Just all together. They're not completely out of ammo. Like even the four inch might be a bug. Not entirely, because the one launched torpedoes. Interesting how that has changed widget-wise. Okay, they're firing. And at this range, that is dangerous. So we're going to focus on the one that's firing at us. I think because of their low ammo situation, they were holding fire because of the low chance of hitting. There we go. That was not a very good penetration. Six damage. We're firing five inch? We sure are. Eleven, a five. Oh, ow. Okay. Conning tower is damaged now. Multiple flooding on the Bremerton, though. Damage to a main gun. There we go. There's a slew of hits. Engine damage. Taking some flooding of our own. Now that we've both settled, it is a hail of gunfire. That's pretty much the end of the Bremerton. Mm, maybe not. 
Seems they, they've got the flooding mostly in check. Got some slow flooding. A slow right hand turn. There we go. Knocked out one of their guns. More flooding. Fire. Damage to a gun that's already gone. More damage to the main guns. Destroyed main gun. Let's Two turrets knocked out. Looks like she stopped firing as well. well. Let's take a harder turn to angle back in. See if we can get just a little bit more flooding. Our ships look largely okay. I mean, the Kaiser Inn is a little beat up. Come on, we need like one more blood. Sitting at six kilometers. Angle in a little bit further. Our accuracy, Okay, more fire. We can take them down structurally. Just a little more flooding would be beneficial. Or the secondary gun, okay. Secondary guns aren't that crazy. Four inch. Yeah, they're starting to catch up on the flooding now. Okay, the Albany's opening fire. Are we four? Yeah, we're going to start taking hits here soon. There's the flooding. Let's see if that progressively floods. It is. That might be enough. Stay with it. I think that's good. There we go. Alright, now we get to focus on the Albany. I think at this range we can afford to flank speed what little defense it gives us. A small sacrifice to our own accuracy for a larger percentage of what accuracy they have. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot of flooding. That's a lot of hits. More flooding. And that's that. Due to flooding. Yeah, that was a lot of flooding there right at the end. Multiple low hits. Kind of surprised at how well that did. I, I guess I shouldn't be. The, uh, the armor was just enough. I think I've been doing that pretty well with a lot of the designs. It's, it's still heavy armor, but not as ridiculously thick as some of the previous designs before the patch. I'm taking good advantage of the 
fire and flooding chance as well as the repair systems and being able to get more repairs by spending a little money on some of the really it's the weight that it comes down to on some of these other ones and it's making for pretty good designs that are kind of surprising me with how effective they are it's it's a battle of attrition I think this really worked out well. Uh, I don't think we needed the super heavy shells. We could could probably even do light shells. Yeah, it's still plenty of penetration. The super heavies do have extra range. That's a benefit. Extra ammo would be a benefit. Um, possibly adding some torpedoes. Could also go the heavier armored route. But uh, regardless, let me know what you think, um, especially if you want to see this scenario again with a different ship or a different strategy on how to construct the ship to take it out. I'm, I am happy to test that. I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable with the game now. I feel like it's in a good place. It's a lot of fun to play. The decals are a great addition, and uh, I'm really enjoying this. So with that, I appreciate you staying till the end. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Do take care.